Man, you don't, you don't pay me, right? Come on, man. Yo! What is up, y'all? My name is Devin, and today I feel kind of mundane. I feel kind of bored. Clothes. Let me try a hat or something. No. Still feel fucking bored. Today, I'm gonna be telling you guys some information that you did not fucking know that you needed, but you fucking need it. Cause I could tell, cause when y'all be talking to me, I could tell you just, you don't feel like you're getting what you need. And I'm gonna give you what you, I'm gonna give you what you need, okay? You might not wanna hear, it's a hard pill to swallow. But you gotta swallow it. Damn, my hair look crazy for real. Before we get into that, you already know the fucking drill. If you're new here, new as in not subscribed. I look at my analytics. Y'all be watching, you don't be subscribed. You're guilty, you're the guilty party, okay? Fucking hit that button, subscribe, help me out. Oh, you fuck with my glasses. I told you guys I was getting some new ones in the mail. And yes, they have arrived. Use the link down below and use code DVN50 at checkout to help me out and get 50% off your order off some already pretty affordable and awesome quality like these are actually dope fucking quality. I would not sell you bullshit. I'm not that guy. I have gotten offers of promoting bullshit before and I'm simply just not gonna do it. Why are you not seeing gains, okay? There's a million and one reasons as to why you cannot be seeing gains. I don't know if I said that right, but you know what the fuck I mean. But I'm gonna break down the most common things that I see. Girlfriend got this taser from Amazon and I didn't. This is the biggest fucking thing, okay? This is the biggest aspect of training that I myself, everybody is guilty of, okay? You look at your favorite before and after photos, I'm guilty of being this guy. I myself and everybody who posts on Instagram loves a good before and after photo. You get good engagement, people fuck with it, people like that. So they feel like they've started training for two, three months even a week sometimes and they're like how come i don't look like this how come i don't look like my favorite influencer like i've been going so hard for a month and literally nothing has changed i don't understand here's a before and after photo i'll put one over here okay don't be lazy you fucking lazy devin just put the before and after photo okay bro the before and after of this af before and after photo i know how to speak english don't come for me okay is a year okay at that point whatever is the before photo i had already been training for two years um the after photo is a total of three training years and from there to there is one year okay it takes many years from the point i look now i've been training for three years so simply you just going on instagram going on youtube whatever the fuck and seeing a collage of before and after photos it essentially makes you feel like you can get your results in a microwave like pop that bitch in the microwave for one second the microwave being you going to the gym you eating healthy or whatever the fuck it's like a slow roast it's like a barbecue it's like you're in austin texas you gotta slow barbecue that bitch you gotta put in the roast pit turn it over a little bit you gotta really fucking commit to the process okay it's gonna take at least a year for you to see the results that you want to see okay especially from a coach's point of view i get a lot of people who simply just are like devin i actually had one of my clients tell me this they hired me for three months and they they weigh about 116 they say devin somebody has actually reached out to me and wanted them to like wanted me to like coach their endocrinology like coach them through peds and it's like i don't do that fam we don't do that here okay just because i'm transparent does not mean that i'm promoting this for anybody else it doesn't mean i'm gonna be your fucking endocrinologist coach i'm not your steroid guru they came to me and they were like i want to gain essentially like 30 pounds in three months you want to gain 10 pounds a month and you think this is going to be straight muscle listen i'm not a chris hemsworth thor personal trainer i'm not gonna put you on all the shit to gain muscle and no fat okay so it's a process it's all a process we can accomplish that but realistically any coach who's like oh you're gonna get results in one month they're lying to you you never see these before and after photos if you do sometimes it's a reverse before and after photo real ones no uh furious p type of shit there are a lot of things that go into these before and afters and here's something that a lot of people won't say a lot of coaches do put their clients on sarm on minor cycles and shit and they have their awesome dope as fuck before and after photo they simply don't advertise that they put their clients on gear and then they have beautiful photos to continue the client shit going i'm not that guy i'm not gonna do that so please just be realistic and and have patience the point is simply to have patience with your process you're gonna get your before and after photo as long as you are moving into the next point is being consistent being consistent is the most important thing because everybody does this shit you're like hype as fuck okay you've been watching the rock fucking collages of putting in work ah reporting for my iron paradise guys fucking love it fucking love it and you're hitting the gym hard as fuck for a whole fucking week you lasted a week, okay? And after that, you fall off. One week in the gym, eating what you believe is healthy, and I say healthy because most people are like eating nuts and acai bowls, 
giving me some secrets away for the end of the video. Most people's definition of healthy is, has nothing to do with calories in, calories out. It's simply what they believe a nutritional profile should look like, which is often inaccurate. But the point that I'm making is that they fall off, they get on, they fall off, they get on, they fall off, and they feel like, I've been working out for a year. When in reality, if you count the time you've been working out, you've been working out for three months, two months, four months, but it has been inconsistent, and you're simply not following the principles that you need to follow in order to see the results that you wanna see, the results that you expect to see. Something that I tell my clients all the fucking time is you cannot put in 50% effort and expect to see 100% results, okay? So I myself, I know I'm disciplined as fuck. I don't expect everybody to be as disciplined as I am. Don't not do your homework. Don't not complete the study guide. All this bullshit that teachers tell you and then show up to the test and expect to get 100%, expect to get the A plus because it's not gonna happen. You didn't gain all that weight in one month. It took time, okay? And it's gonna take time to undo it. It's gonna take time to build that muscle. If you're comparing yourself to a million follower fitness influencer, these celebrities and shit, people are on gear. Some people are also not on gear. They're hypergenetic. You have to just worry about yourself. Where do you see yourself? Look in the mirror and make realistic goals for yourself, like on myself. My chest, okay? This has nothing to do with anybody. It simply has to do with Devin. Make your goals based off of yourself, not based off somebody else, and just be consistent with it. It's gonna take years. This is why we make it sustainable. This is why I don't put people on 1,200 calorie diets because that's not gonna last. You're gonna wanna be binge eating as soon as you get off the plan. You're gonna gain all that weight back and I have not taught you at that point a sustainable lifestyle which completely defeats the whole fucking purpose, okay? So just stay consistent and get with somebody who's gonna help you work on sustainability, not just results quick as fuck, okay? You're not a before and after picture, you're a fucking human being, okay? On to the next one. The biggest thing I see not applying progressive overload. What does progressive overload mean? It simply means every time you train, not every time, let's say for like every week you train, or if you've been training for years, every month you train, but really more so for beginners, every week you train more weight, more reps, or more sets to your, to your workouts. This is challenging the muscle to grow, breaking the muscle down, and then when you eat, you're building that muscle up, right? So if you do not feel anything, you've essentially done a warm up set. It's like I have one client, I love him to death. He's like, Devin, that third set was really killer. And I'm like, so you're just telling me that you warmed up? for two sets bro every set is killer every rep of the last set you should be feeling some sort of burn within the muscle group that you're training if not congratulations you have warmed up for x amount of set break it down in the gym you build it up in the kitchen there's a reason why some power lifters look like marshmallows okay strength does not necessarily equal muscle mass and the last thing the most important thing you motherfucker who's eating an acai bowl you're drinking that tropical smoothie cafe jamba juice smoothie king protein fucking straight sugar bullshit you're lying to yourself. If it feels too good to be true, it's a healthy item and it feels too good to be true, it probably is because we know what healthy food tastes like, okay? And Smoothie King tastes like fucking heaven in a, in a little styrofoam cup, you dig? Pair a protein shake that you've made at home, that Greek yogurt, protein, ice, and milk. Tastes delicious, but it tastes like nothing compared to Smoothie King. You're eating ounces upon ounces of cashews and almonds and peanuts and shit. You're eating acai bowls, you're eating peanut butter, pasta, shit like this that you believe is healthy granola bars is like the biggest culprit ever it's all about calories in calories out not to be a greg who said dick right or anything like that even though he has did not invent the principle you can eat all the healthy food you want to in the world all the organic grass-fed vegan gluten-free shit but at the end of the day if you have to eat 1500 calories to maintain your weight and you're eating 3000 calories guess what you're still gonna gain weight guess what if you want to lose weight and it takes 1300 calories to lose weight and you're eating healthy food at 1500 calories you're not gonna lose weight you have to apply your maintenance calories and work from there if you want to gain weight gain muscle gain fat obviously you don't want to gain fat but it's essentially gonna happen unless you're like recomping which is different but if you want to bulk up which some people don't need to some people do it depends on the case you're gonna eat more than your maintenance calories if you want to lose weight you're gonna eat lower than your maintenance calories okay it's all in your calories your maintenance finding your true base with meta meta metabolic <laughs> metabolic rate meal prep meal prep meal prep meal prep knowing that every every day you have set food you're not gonna go off off course set you up for for success okay i made it to the end i know my last videos i was like having my phone in the cut like this recording the outro we made it to the actual outro okay so i do offer personal training online coaching meal plans and training plans so if you're interested in hiring me for that i would fucking love to work with you as long as you're willing to put in the work you feel me in my business email devin does coaching at gmail.com i always stutter on that little bit it's in the description down below copy some fire ass frames Follow me on Instagram, it's gonna be somewhere over here, and be a nice fucking person, okay? Devin loves you, Devin's a Don, and Devin is out of here, boy. Ah.